What is up guys, it's Adam Bomb here and this is the castle build that I just made on stream the other day and I'm going to do a time lapse for you guys so you can see how I made this amazing ride slash castle. So I'm not going to spoil it and show you guys the insides, you'll have to watch the time lapse for that. But basically I decided to build an entire castle with a ride in it, it's pretty crazy. I hope you guys enjoy how I built it, leave a comment below if you want to see more stuff like this. Okay guys, this time lapse is going to move super fast, I want to show you what I started with though. So I wasn't recording until I actually put the starting hall down. This is what doesn't look like much right now, but it's actually going to be the entrance hall that I move people into. And I was kind of working with the very few materials they have for just regular castle stuff. As you guys know, the uh, pirate stuff in the game is abundant, but I couldn't find a lot of stone building materials that I really, that really fit the theme of a castle besides the walls. So anyways, I decided to put some lanterns on the outside of the hall to give it some ambiance, and then I decided I didn't like those, so I put on the hanging lanterns, and keep in mind this is all pirate stuff, so I had to kind of make it fit. I think those fit the castle the best. You guys will have to let me know what lamps would probably work better for a castle. And then I started working on the outer turrets, so kind of like a castle, I wanted it to be curved a little bit and to have these like high turret points. Uh, I don't know if they're called turrets exactly, but they're spires maybe. Um, and this is going to form the basis of the castle. At this point, I didn't really know how large I wanted the whole thing to be, but I kind of decided that I might as well plan for a huge castle just in case. So right now we're building the halls up and then back down because I decided that I wanted them to be a little bit smaller. Uh, too big and the castle was going to get a little bit out of hand. And I kept changing what materials I was going to decide to use because it's kind of hard to uh, know what the outside of the castle is going to look like all the way around. So I used the buttress walls, which I think look really nice. And then I put in some windows because if it just was a whole castle with the blank walls, I think that would be really boring. So it's night again. I didn't really pause the game much as I should have, but the nighttime let me get a good idea for what the lights would look like inside. So now we're just extending the back of the castle out and I'm actually putting the ride in already. Some of the stream people told me that I should put the ride in first. I kind of still debate what's better to do to put the ride in first or to build the castle around it because either way it causes problems later on. Now, I didn't want the ride to be too large because it kind of dwarfs the castle already in size building it down into the castle, because um, right now we only have to work with gravity. I, a lot of you probably don't know about Planet Coaster is that right now it's only gravity driven rides, which is a little bit hard to work with because I have to make this freaking huge looking roller coaster outside of the back of my castle. And one of the things I was debating is whether I want it to be in the front or the back. I kind of regret putting it in the front, but you guys let's let me know what you think of my decision. And so I made a lot of corkscrews. I didn't decide to do any loops because the height of the roller coaster actually isn't really enough to probably get through more than one or two loops, I'd say. So now that I've basically finished the ride, we're gonna kind of enclose it. So that was the uh, advantage of having the castle done after the ride. I could kind of enclose it and the castle actually ended up being way huger than I wanted it to be. Um, so right now we're kind of doing the curvy method. I don't know if it would have been better to add some sharper edges but I wanted to do the tower style all around the castle, and I think it's gonna actually end up looking way more castly. Uh, for a while, it actually kinda looked like a church, which was hilarious. Uh, people in stream were telling me that I had built a church and not a castle, and I don't know, church of a roller coaster sounds like a kinda good name. So the ceiling was really, really difficult because of the fact that the roller coaster comes out of it. So I had all these broken pieces and open sun areas, and I was gonna do my best to try and cover them up so that it actually looks like a roller coaster. Or not a roller coaster per se, but a, a ride that is contained within a castle and not the other way around. So I added some of these uh, stylistic, uh, I don't know what they're called. I can't actually remember what they're called. Uh, I don't know. You guys will have to leave in the comments below what those things are called. I like them, uh, but they're a little hard to place and do them even. If the game had like a, a leveler so that you could tell if the, everything's on the same level. A grid. A grid. That's what I mean. Like a grid on all the axes so you could know how even it is. And it kind of got to my OCD a little bit when I was trying to place everything on the same level. A lot of the stuff in the game is like that. It does it automatically, but a lot of it isn't. So now I'm building the roof for the outer hall, the thing that people walk in. I actually used upside down balconies for the front of that because the 
the walls were off or the ceilings were off by one half. So I don't know if you guys know, but there's a trick you can use that some of the people in stream told me where if you place the uh, quarter sandstone circle down, it actually gives you quarter grids instead of the full grids that you have. It makes it a lot easier to place things down. And maybe I'll do a tutorial on that at some point or just building in general, because this project gave me a ton of experience into how I'm supposed to be building stuff in this game. So now I'm adding the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to call that either. The, uh, the battlements, I guess, is what it would call. Um, so the outer uh, notched parts. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I'm kind of bad at the naming of castle stuff. But I think it added a really nice castle effect. You almost need it. Otherwise, it's not even going to look like a castle. So I was trying different things for the inner pillars to make things look nice. But I, I, I didn't really end up liking anything. Uh, the white doesn't look good. There really isn't any stone pillars. So I got rid of it all. And I tried a few different things. And it just wasn't working out. All right, so we're back to square one. I think I messed with this for a while and didn't end up liking anything. So now I'm going to build out the top of this. So I used the quarter uh, trick to basically get a smaller top level. And this made it look a lot more like a castle because if it's just a long haul, it kind of looks fake and not as good. It didn't really have a place until I added this either. So um, I finished the ceilings, which is actually really hard. Doing the ceilings is one of the hardest parts. And then I added some arches to the front to make it look more castly. And now I think I'm going here adding the entrance and exit, which was also really difficult because if I got rid of any curved part of the castle, I ended up making it look really, really crappy. So I added the entrance and the exits coming outside of the castle. I think this actually took me quite a while because I, if it goes through the curved part, it looks really, really terrible. And it looks like something is just missing. And there really isn't a way to add a door. There aren't any entrance doorway type things besides arches. And those still kind of look like, meh, nah, I wasn't really too impressed with them. So I wanted to add an outer garden type thing for this path. Make it look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, natural for the outside of the castle. I added some uh, windows as sewer grates. Because I like to imagine that my castle has like a big underground network of a sewer. There's my dog. You guys can see we've got a good... Five seconds of me petting my dog, so I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so I'm working on putting some rocks on the outside. They don't have any water in the game. A lot of people were telling me to put a moat in, and I would love to put a moat in, but right now there isn't any water. It's still alpha. I don't know when they're planning on adding that, but it would actually make my castle look like a castle, and obviously water is going to be end up a big part of the game. So now the next big, big part of the castle is to add the top of it. And I wanted it to make it look like it had some towers, um, not look like a church. And for a while it kind of did look like a church, but these upper spinnerets or turrets, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, really make it look kind of like a formidable fort. And again, I had to do another level. I think without the other level on top, it wouldn't have looked as much like a castle. Uh, I did have a lot of problems with with placing the parts of the roof because the uh they don't snap in very well it's a very weird problem but uh i think they'll be fixing that in the future soon and i, I kind of debated whether i wanted the height of the outer spinnerets to be taller than the middle one but i kept going back and forth and finally decided that it looked best like this and now i'm filling in the roof of the roller coaster with the uh, half blocks and quarter blocks so that it doesn't look as open that's something that i really never got to fix because you actually can't place wall over a gap like that and if i could it probably would have looked a lot more natural so i opened up the ceiling over this tall other castle i mean this is like a castle in itself on top of the castle castles on castles on castles and one thing i could have done is add more windows to this i don't know if it ended up looking as great as it could um, but it got filled in, which is the important part. And now I'm adding another spinner to the top, which really, I think, completed the look. I don't know if I could have added any more. I think it ended up looking pretty good, though. Okay, so I'm adding just two more towers to fill it out, because I think it was kind of missing some bulk on the side. Now we're adding the ride and the coaster, and we're actually going to get to add some details so the planet coaster thing was something i kind of debated a lot i think i mentioned that already i don't know if it looks the best it might look a little tacky uh none of the flags look good none of the directions really fit with the our decorations really fit with the theme so it was kind of hard to find uh my niche for the castles i it's all pirate stuff right now my next build is definitely going to be pirate themed so i was adding some walls to the inside which i thought looked okay uh, we're testing out the ride there, but the walls on the inside were definitely difficult to make work. So I don't know. I think it turned out good overall, but the walls on the inside are probably more trouble than they're worth. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed my build of the castle. 
I, if you want to see more stuff like this, I'd really appreciate you leaving a comment and a like. That way I know to do more, and I'm probably going to do them on stream. So make sure you guys show up for my streams every day from around 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so you have to let me know what you think of the cannons and the planet coaster sign on the outside. I think it might be a little tacky, but I think it looks good. Anyways, I didn't find any pillars that I really like to put right here. I think it would have added a nice touch, but they don't have any stone uh, pillar type things in the game. And it made it very, very hard to kind of do stuff with the castle because everything in this game is pirate themed. But anyways, here we are going through the ride where the guests would. As you can see, the pathing wasn't perfect. Stuff I can work on if you guys want to see me do it in another stream. So, I built some walls around here to kind of give it a little bit of an ambient feel. And I think it turned out pretty well. The ride loops through here, kind of like a ride at Disney World was. Um, it would kind of hide the ride a little bit. That's the goal. I think I need to put some lanterns over here. But anyways, let's get on the ride and show you guys the fun part. All right, so it's nighttime now. It's not ideal, but you can really see the ambient lighting very well. I think that turned out well. I like the lanterns, but again, everything is pirate themed. All right, let's change to the seat camera. What, what camera do you guys like best? It's hard for me to tell what camera does the best in the game, but here we go. Here's the crazy ride. All right, put your hands up, guys. And here we go down the corkscrew. Yeah, corkscrews are scary, man. And then we so, so, yeah, we loop around, go through the inside, come back out, down and around, and we're done. It's actually a really, really, really fast ride. But as you guys can tell, it's probably kind of hard to fit a whole ride inside a castle. It's a very big castle, and I probably could have fit a little bit more in. But I, would, I didn't want to risk not being able to loop it back around to finish. That always is a problem when I'm building roller coasters. So I don't know. I think it turned out really good. You guys will have to let me know. We had a lot of fun watching it in stream. And I hope you guys show up for my streams in the future. It'd be awesome to see you there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you want to see an in-depth explanation of my builds, make sure to show up. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.